Hello, today we are doing the River Mountain Trail in Boulder City. It's really cool because it starts like in the city, so we don't even have to do a big drive. We met up at McDonald's, had a little treat, and now we're hitting the trails, so we'll share more as we go. This big boy is gonna be amazing when he starts blooming in a couple weeks. Can't wait to see it. The beginning of the trail is this nice graded path, and it's just beautiful views out here. And there we go. Barb and Michael leading the way. He has lovely hair blooms right by the trail. Such pretty views of flowers out here. We have amazing views of Lake Mead and we're just getting started. There'll be even better views as we go. I love me a nice clear trail marker. I get lost easy, so it makes it nice when they tell me where to go. After our initial start, we get into this more washy style of gravel. It's a little harder to walk in, but it's still not too difficult of an incline. All right, we also have a barrel cactus in blue. And look at how green the hills are. Super rare for Vegas area. Such beautiful views in here. Love this hike so far. Another trail sign, yay! This may be our last lake view for a while. Let's enjoy it. We have these little delicate white flowers just blanketing our entire walk. It's amazing. We're getting some beautiful views of red rocks and black rocks now. And you can see the dam way out in the distance. This walk definitely gives us some cardio. Huffing and puffing a little bit. Brought the poles today, which really help. Just for stability, it's not a super hard trail, but definitely loving it. And right here behind me, we've got some new blooms. Purple ones, they're so pretty. Barb's taking pictures of them too. We have such brilliant sky and clouds this morning. We got started on the trail just a little bit after seven and it is absolutely beautiful. You can really see the yellow blooms and the greenery going all up this hill. Super beautiful. This is the trail we're going up. The grade's increasing a little, but not too bad. Came from down there. Making big strides. We're probably about halfway to the top. And it's a beautiful, beautiful day on the trail. Beautiful views of the canyons here. This cactus is full of hearts. It's so cool. We're getting pretty close. It's not been an easy hike, but totally doable. Just like a nice walk. We've gone a little over two miles. You can see a bunch of the switchbacks we've come up and the trail extending down below. It's definitely gotten steeper as we go. There's been a lot of you know, step ups, but still very manageable for the average hiker. Definitely not something with any scrambling. Beautiful. Look at our new little friend, this chuckwalla. First showed us his tail, then he turned around so we could see his face, and now he's poked his head out so we can get a great view. What a cutie, he's walking towards us. Oh my god, what a cute little buddy. You wanna show us your tail? He's waving. <laughs> Hi baby. He's, he turned around, thank you. So this is where our trail, the Black Mountain Overlook, which is where we're headed. Branches off from a bike trail. We're not doing actual Black Mountain, which is another trail for another day, but it'll give us some great views of the valley and beyond. There's a lot of these delicate little purple flowers in this area. I've seen some bumblebees out here doing their work with them. Definitely lovely. This one's really cool because it's growing up right out of this bush. I like this foot traffic only sign. I would not want to see bikes coming down this hill towards me. And from this same spot, we have a great view of the Las Vegas Strip. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see the stratosphere. More pretty little flowers. There's such a variety on the trail. We got started early. So on our way back down, I will definitely be doing more of the flowers to feature the different blooms we see. The views of the strip keep improving. It's nice and clear and non-smoggy out there today. We can see our finish line up ahead. And here's a road to get there. These barrel cactuses out here are beautiful. They're so vibrant against 
the other greenery and the rocks around them. Along the trail, there's all these cool caves. This is the first one I've went and climbed in and I'm enjoying this spider web next to me, but kind of far away because I don't want to touch it. So, cool place to rest. We made it to the top. Up here, you can see Mount Charleston in the distance and the city of Las Vegas. We can keep on going right over to Boulder City and Michael in the distance <laughs> and beyond. Super amazing. Way up back there, we can even see the solar fields. So, what is your favorite part of the hike, Michael? Uh, seeing the mountains. How about you, Barb? The top. <laughs> the top. This is amazing. Boulder it's Boulder City. It's a yes. It's a hike where you accomplish so much. It's, you know, we definitely made a climb, but it didn't feel like painful at any point, I don't think, right? No. Yeah, lovely views, Pretty lovely flowers. experience, beautiful flowers. Can't wait to do this one again. I always enjoy my reward at the top, and today it's an egg McMuffin. Deliciousness. Up on top of this hill, which is Bootleg Canyon, we can see the zip lining platforms, pretty cool. And the mountain bikers also like to do the trails up there, out into this valley below. Good for them. Mountain biking scary for me. Okay, well, we just saw another lizard going up in those bushes. I don't know if you'll be able to see him, but he's kind of moving over to the right side of the bushes on our screen. And He's pretty cool coloring, if you could see him on there. Look at this cute one, he's giving me some push-ups. Give me 10, come on, you got this. Here's a really cool view of a blue lizard, which may or may not be a salamander. He's really awesome looking. He's got a little friend nearby, but this one's easier to see. These guys are everywhere today. Hello, little friend. As the day has gone on, the cacti flowers have really opened up. Super pretty. Right here we have a horned toad. He's super hard to see because he camouflages so well in this environment. But he is super cute. He was running all around the place, but we got him stopped now. Hi, guy. Good to see you. So I've never seen a desert tortoise actually out in nature before. I've only seen them in enclosures. So this is truly amazing seeing him here enjoying some prickly pear cactus. He is huge. Let's get a little bit closer. We have a different view of our little friend out here and it's super neat. You can see where he's been eating right off of the cactus and it's opened up from his teeth or whatever they bite with, their mouths. Impressive jaws, sir. You can see his bite marks better from this direction. All right, we just wrapped it up on the River Mountain Trail six miles it was challenging but not too challenging and absolutely lovely we saw so much great wildlife and i can't wait to get out here again to see how the blooms evolve and the different animals that are here in the weeks to come bye